Hello friends, welcome back. Today I wanted to do more of a like casual vlog style video. I did buy a couple things on Black Friday and I also have a little unboxing haul as well. Also, I included like a quick time lapse of me setting up my studio, but I didn't have the lighting right so it might have been too dark, but I'll show you quickly my little lighting setup that I have. These two soft boxes I just got from Amazon and I love them. I'll go ahead and link them down in the description box. This whole setup is nothing new. I actually have a video on like my Amazon favorites and I talk about some of the filming gear that I'm using so all of that is the same so if you guys want to check out that video go ahead and link it this is my new camera I actually don't think I've shown it on YouTube yet but it is the Sony a6400 and I love it because it has a flip up screen it's nice that I have this little thing because now I can film almost anywhere the only downside is it is so small that sometimes I don't notice when I have like a hair on my forehead or a little fuzz. This camera was totally worth the upgrade. This is all of my PR that's Brandon stuff. This is our little room living space and so he he always has that mess set up but this is some of the PR that I have. More down here and then these are more things that I purchased myself slash with my mom shout out to my mama so anyways let's go ahead and unbox some of these first off let's talk about some of the things that i bought myself i feel like that's usually the most fun so here i have some things i picked up from sephora my birthday is actually coming up it's on the 29th of december and so i got to pick up my little birthday gift this is a little kat von d set i didn't buy this from sephora but i did pick up a shu amura eyelash curler I do regret not getting the full eyelash curler this one is like the piecier set but this one is so hard for me to use so i wish i got the full eyelash curler but i feel like it might be good if i had like false lashes on but two things that i picked up from sephora are these two goodies i've heard so much about this pat mcgrath foundation i have it in the color light medium 13. like look how luxe that looks so this oh my god i spilled makeup on it oh my gosh it came like this okay i'm definitely taking it back Okay, now look how looks it looks. <laughs> I will have to look and see if it's actually broken because if it's not, I'm not going to be super high maintenance about it. But I've heard so much about this foundation. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk is like my favorite holy grail foundation. Every time I have an event or I want my skin to look really, really nice, that's my go-to foundation. One of my girlfriends was like, Pat McGrath foundation is better than the Luminous Silk. And I was like, what? then I definitely have to try it out. So I will definitely test it out and let you guys know what I think about it. If you want to see like first impressions wear test on YouTube, just let me know if you guys want to see it. I also picked up the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment Precision Lip Crayon. I was so excited to try these out and I love the packaging. I picked it up in the color She's Proud. Cool because it's like a little click situation and then it comes out right there so this is what the color looks like gorgeous i feel like that's such a good nude also on my face i've been dealing with this little cold sore i got it when i got back from sf with brandon and i feel like the combination of walking around all day it was super super cold as i started getting more sick it kind of just like became a bacteria overgrowth which is disgusting but that's what's on my face if anyone wants to say anything mean in the comments don't because I will roast you and I'll tell my mom. Those are the only two things that I picked up from Sephora. And then another two things that I picked up from CVS is actually some makeup from Neutrogena. I'm actually working with them on a little campaign, which how cool is it that I get to work with Neutrogena? So this is the Healthy Skin Liquid Foundation. And this is actually what I have on my skin right now. And then I also have the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Concealer. It actually has like a little brush tip application thing I actually really like it because I feel like I was able to get a good amount of product and it blended out so easily so these are the two that I have on my skin right now and it makes my skin look really really good obviously I went heavy on the bronzer and blush because I've just been so into that look lately I really really like them I have to see if they break me out or anything like that so I will keep you guys updated on Instagram and then I also did pick up a couple things from Aritzia from their Black Friday sale first off I got this white t-shirt you can never have too many it's from Babaton and it's it's like a nice 
like super soft slinky material I love shopping their Black Friday sales because usually they do like a store-wide sale which they never ever do this shirt was like five dollars off which is like not a lot at all but especially when you're buying a lot of things at once usually things that are like their best-selling items that never go on sale I think it's a great time to shop I also picked up this long sleeve shirt from Aritzia this is their Seaton shirt this color was so nice it was the last one and it was in a size small so I was like, okay it's meant for me I have to have it I actually do have the shirt in kind of like a taupey purplish color and I wear it all the time the last thing that I picked up was this bodysuit how cute is this I love the square neck of it I love that it's like a thong bodysuit as well because you don't have to worry about underwear lines the color they had in store but they didn't have it in my size so they will actually order it for you for free and it'll ship to your house and everything and then the very last thing that I bought a new MacBook Pro so this is actually a birthday slash Christmas gift from my mama and shout out to my mama because she's my biggest sponsor slash supporter I have been needing a new MacBook for the longest time because I've had my MacBook for like six years now and every time I unplug it from its charger it shuts down so it's hard for me to edit on the go and stuff like that so it was long overdue my birthday like I said before is on December 29th and people ask me all the time like doesn't it suck that your birthday is so close to Christmas and I'm like no not if you play it right so I always ask for like a huge gift from my mom I always am like it's a birthday and Christmas gift so I get away with getting like nicer items so this is my new baby look at her so it's actually the new MacBook Pro is a 16 inch situation and look how gorgeous it is. The trackpad on it is actually huge too. Like look how big it is and it has a cool little like touch pad situation and I'm so excited to have a new laptop that I can use and edit on. The only thing is it doesn't have USB ports so I had to get like a little hub situation and so this thing actually plugs into my laptop. And then it has like little USB ports there as well that you can plug in like your hard drive and all that stuff. So I'll go ahead and link this on Amazon, but it was like 15 or $20. And it matches the color of my laptop. And I did get a couple things from Nordstrom. I got these Jeffrey Campbell boots, which I'm so excited for because I've been looking for a good like brown booty. They actually have a square toe, which I love. They are super, super comfortable. And I like that the heel's not too high because I can definitely wear this around so much. And then I picked up some shoes for for Brandon's birthday and they're actually these fear of God sneakers they were so expensive his birthday is also on the 17th of December so every year I kind of do like a big gift as like a birthday and Christmas gift and that is everything that I picked up Let's go ahead and do a quick little unboxing I was actually at a glow recipe event the other day and they launched this new banana souffle moisture cream it's supposed to be calming and hydrating so excited to try this out their packaging is always so cute this smells so much like the briogeo banana shampoo and conditioner it smells so good it feels very like whipped and thin which is really really nice as you guys know i have super oily skin so i think this will be a really great everyday moisturizer next up i just feel like it's christmas Next up, we have a box from Caudalie. So exciting. I love Caudalie. We have lots of goodies. Inside are all of their like cult favorite products. And so I'm excited to try all of these. Inside is the Instant Foaming Cleanser, the Beauty Elixir. This elixir is one of my favorites. Instant Detox Mask. Premier Crew Eye Cream. Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. Vino Pure Skin Perfecting Serum and the Venusaurus SOS Intense Moisturizing Cream. I'm a huge fan of Caudalie and their skincare, so I'm super excited to try all that out. And then in here, I actually got so many socks. This is from a brand called Chic. So many socks. Okay, so we have a super cute package from Aquas Hair Care. I actually did do a video with them a while back. I love their hair care and they're also clean at Sephora as well. So they sent over this water defense pre-wash, which is such a goodie. It's also a small version, so it'll be really nice to be able to travel with that. They also sent over a rapid dry hair turban. These are some of my favorites. When you use a towel and wrap it up as a turban, it just never really stays in place. You know what I mean? So I love these. This is probably like my fourth one. Look how cute. This is, but it looks like an actual sock, doesn't it? Like who, what kind of stocking is shaped like this? But inside of it is a Tangle Teaser Detangling Hairbrush. What a cute little Christmas themed 
box. Next thing I got were some lashes from Velour Lashes and I'm actually gonna be working with them on Instagram. How freaking exciting. I love their lashes. So they sent over this Naughty and Nice Lash Kit. Mini Me Lashes, Luff and Edgy Silk Lashes, and then the Lash Adhesive. So if you guys wanna see those styles, how they look and all that, it'll be on my Instagram. Cute, I love Ilya. So Ilya Beauty sent me a little package. I love their makeup. They're actually a clean makeup brand at Sephora, but they're one of my favorite like makeup brands in general. So they sent over some makeup that I'm excited to try. We have some color block lipsticks. And then we also have a little blush multi-stick. These two lipsticks, I have the color Wild Aster and Amberlight. Amberlight, looks like a good nude. So up top there is Wild Aster and then Amberlight is the pinker nude down below. I also have a tinted lip conditioner from them as well. This is in the color These Days. Ooh, I love that color. Multi-stick that I got was in the color Ladybird. Oh yeah, that's a pretty color. I like that it's kind of nude too. And then they also sent over two Color Haze Multi Matte Pigments. These are great for cream blushes. You can also use them on your eyelids. This one is in the shade Waking Up. This is what the applicator looks like. So you just squeeze out some of it. So this one is Waking Up. Oh, pretty. Okay, so that was Waking Up and now this one is Stutter. Next, we have a little candle from Otherland. So you open it up. Ooh. Oh, wow. And this is the candle rattan. Oh, the little match set. How cute. Oh my god, it reminds me of how like Vince smells when you go inside Vince stores. Fresh, clean, and expensive. So this one is rattan. It has notes of... I also have a package here from Lila B. I'm also such a savage with my packaging. Like sometimes when I don't have my little box cutter, I would just like rip open boxes. B Kiss Lip Balm. All their packaging comes in a little rock like this and it's actually super heavy. Also a clean at Sephora brand, so I love their stuff. And then they also sent over an Aglow face mist. I love this face mist. And so this is like kind of a setting spray situation, but I feel like it makes your skin look so fresh and dewy. Okay, then I have a package from my friends at Bosha. I'm actually friends with one of the co-founders. Her name is Lan Belinky and I absolutely adore her. So her and I actually got lunch the other day and she actually brought this package to me. But inside, they just launched a cactus water peel-off mask. It is supposed to be a super refreshing mask that rebounds and rejuvenates dehydrated skin for radiant, restored, and plumped up complexion. That sounds amazing. And then she also sent over a couple vegan collagen micro crystal eye masks are supposed to give your under eyes a boost of youth with self-dissolving microcrystal eye masks that dramatically minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles. So they actually have little microcrystal technology. So they almost have like tiny little like needles and you're supposed to press them into your under eyes. It just helps to get the collagen, hyaluronic acid deep into your under eyes, which I need because I recently have had such bad eye baggies. And then they also sent over a cutie little crystal roller. This would be really great for using to roll in the eye patches. It can use the side and really massage those crystals deep into your skin. And then they also sent over a cutie little water bottle. How cute is that? I also got two new lippies from M Cosmetics. I'm such a fan of her makeup. She just launched a new collection that is so good and the packaging is also so stunning. These are their vintage essentials and so these are new infinite lip cloud shades what i like about her lip cloud formula too is it's like super comfortable on the lips like they don't make your lips feel super dry so that one was in the color hush berry and then this one oh my god so pretty this is kind of like a deeper brick red color this is in the color soft sangria i also got some things from this company called Manny Me, and they're actually nail stickers. So these are little stickers that you can apply onto your nails, and it's supposed to be like better for your nails, chemical free. And I like the idea that you just peel and stick on your nails because sometimes we just don't have time to go to the salon. And so these are one of the styles that I picked out. So you just stick them onto your nails and you kind of file them down to fit. Love the idea of that I love that you don't have to wait for them to dry as well. And then Laneige also sent over the Lip Glowy Balms I love these if you guys have a little sister or a friend and you just need like a quick easy stocking stuffer these are amazing and then i also got another set this is called the hydration dream 
team. And this lip mask is one of my holy grails. Excited to try out all the other skincare products because I haven't tried anything from Laneige, but I love their lip products. Then, oh, is this also from Laneige? Next, I got a cutie little set from Supergoop. This is one of my favorite SPF brands ever, but it's like a little checkerboard situation that you can set out if you're going on the beach or whatever. There's like little um, zippers that you can put like the chest or checkers pieces, but look what's included inside. So many minis, but there's like 10 of them. Like, what am I gonna do with all these? This is from a new brand called Mama Mama <laughs> Mamandi Garden Party. So it's some skincare things that, I haven't tried anything from this brand yet, so. This package, I'm very excited for. It's actually from Loving Tan. My tan is natural and I have only used fake tan once in my entire life. That was when I was living in Seattle and I was very, very pale. Clothes just look nicer when you're tanner, you know? So here we have the Deluxe Applicator Mitt. They also included a tan removing polishing glove. I think that will be really great for also like prepping my skin for the fake tan. And then we also have the Deluxe Tanning Mousse in dark. And then we also have more creams. I don't know what the difference between all of these are, but I will definitely start trying them out and let you guys know what I think about them. And they also included some like Australian candy brands. The last, I was so excited for this, I had to open it up, but it's a big old package from Too Faced. They recently started sending me stuff and they are one of my favorite makeup brands ever, but they just launched a new Born This Way powder foundation. And then they also have an ethereal setting powder in three different shades. Every time I get a big package from like a company that I love, I get so excited. Here we have their brand new powder foundation. They didn't even ask me what shade I was or anything, but the color looks like it matches me really, really nicely. And then we also have the translucent powder as well. I die for their packaging. Like look how gorgeous that is. It just looks so luxe and pretty. Do you guys remember when Too Faced was sold at Nordstrom in the BP section, like in the teenage girl clothing section? Those were the good days. They also sent over three Born This Way multi-sculpting concealers. This is one of my favorite concealers ever because the formula is so hydrating but still so full coverage. It looks like we have two correcting shades and then one to contour with, which is amazing. It's just such a good concealer. If you haven't tried it yet, you need to. And another thing that was included in this package is another thing from their Born This Way collection foundation. I wanted to try this for the longest time, but I heard some reviews that it broke some people out. So now I can try it out for myself. So that is everything. I hope you all enjoy this quick little haul slash PR unboxing video. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a great holiday. Make sure you're subscribed because I am doing a gift guide video with Brandon and I have some exciting content for Christmas coming up for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.